Flosstube. Welcome back. My name is Teresa. This is the Garden Goose Stitcher Flosstube number 19. I happen to know it's March 11th. Sorry that last week I had no clue. <laughs> but I've been sleeping normal and I've not been staying up at weird times. So now I kind of know what day it is. It's Tuesday. Anyway, <laughs> welcome back. Thanks for being here. Uh, I appreciate all of you that have checked in with me and left a comment last week and lots of great um, feedback on my stiff bag stuff and I ha I'll have an update for that. I have not been stitching very much this week. I, I don't know why this week was odd. Maybe because I have been making bags. I went to a stitching meetup and I don't know. I just felt really funky this week. I, I didn't even stitch Wordplay Wednesday, which has nothing to do with the meetup or like or the holiday. I just, I, be, I think I'm stressing out a little bit about the Teresa Kogut piece that I need to really focus on. But also, I'm a procrastinator. So I've been thinking I should just stitch on the whips that are current, and then I'll pick that up the week before the retreat. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so I stitched a little bit, but not much. And I thought this would be really boring, and I thought, well, it'll just be a quick check-in, and I'll show you the bags I finished. But but then I happened to get some stuff in the mail right before this started, so I have stuff to show you. Otherwise, we I went to a stitching meetup at Panera. I met somebody from Stitch Harmony. Um, it was like going on a blind date. It was really weird. <laughs> I've never done that. From you know, Just Keep Stitching does their Stitch Harmony to try to meet up people with uh, local stitchy people, so... I, I forgot to mention last week that the week prior, I had gone to a stitchy meetup at the library in my hometown, which is like 30 minutes away, and every other Wednesday they have a crafty meetup, like you can just go and craft there, take whatever you're working on, and it's from 6 to 8, and I had, um, my mom's been telling me when it was, and so finally she went with me. I had bought her a cruel embroidery kit. She used to do that back in the 70s and 80s. And um, I bought her an old one because she doesn't really like the new ones and very much. She doesn't like how much it's stamped. Uh, anyway, but um, so I went, basically I went last week and it was really fun, or the week before. So I went, it was really fun. One gal was knitting. Or was she crocheting? I don't remember. But she was making dishcloths. And it was like that dishcloth yarn, you know, the sugar and cream or whatever that cotton stuff is for dishcloths. But it had like a scrubber section that was like in there. It was pretty cool. I've never seen that. Um, and then another woman was hand sewing yo-yos for a quilt. So so it was really fun. So it, that happens again tomorrow. So I'm going to go. My friend Jen is going to go with me this time, I believe. I, I should double check with her. But she's a prolific knitter. Like this this woman she is so talented she's part of our bunko group and i just think she's fantastic but i just i just think that i can't wait to watch <laughs> so because she can do like sweaters with like all of these designs and on it and i'm like you make that <laughs> i you know <laughs> so anyway so tomorrow i'm going to that and then but um anyway so so i went to panera I don't know. I just have not been stitching much. I don't know. <laughs> I can't, I don't think I can blame the holiday either. But anywho, oh, so let, let me show you what I did stitch and then I can t show you the bags because perhaps those were the problem. Probably. Um, last Thursday, I, I believe on Wednesday I worked on my Teresa Koga piece because I know I filled in a couple of flowers, but I can't even show it because it's a secret. But um, last Thursday when I went to Panera, I took my one of my whip goes. This was the filler whip go for um, a piece that I finished during March Mania. So this was a new start, and I had drawn out of a basket one of my new starts that would fit, take the spot of that finished project for my whip go board. And this was picked, and I'm so glad because I really did want to stitch this. I only stitched on it for a little bit. The conversation was very interesting. So I know I just got like this, this 
bush. I don't know. It's like a bush or something. And then part of the flowers and then the time was up. <laughs> so <laughs> it was a uh, very interesting. So I got some work on that at least. At least there's one day. I, do, I believe that my goal for that is five days or a finish. If I'm not distracted, I, that seems like it's possible. But otherwise, I've been working on my schooler during school. This seems to be the only steady thing in my life. I'm stitching that big, the big one. You know what I was thinking about today while I was stitching this? I, I really enjoy stitching this. Designed by Pamela Bird. Like, you know how she retired? Like, what do you think she's stitching nowadays? There's like no way that this woman just stopped stitching all together. So then we're all sitting over here searching for prairie schoolers on the black market. And she's probably over there stitching all these new things she designed for herself. Anyway, I just wonder what she's doing. I mean, we know she's still designing because she's still putting out a, out, a, out a Santa every year. Gosh, I just love everything she ever designed. I wonder what she's doing now. <laughs> like, wouldn't that be cool if she was just like, all right, I'm back. And this is what I've been doing for the past whatever. How many years has she been off? Anyway, that's just some of my thought processes. <laughs> I finished filling in the house. I stitched the ducks and the rest of the water. I filled in the little, I'm assuming it's a, a barn or a, um, I don't know, some sort of shed. And I started the words. I'm about to meet the the border up there at the top so I have a bunch of flowers to fill in there's some flowers that go here and there's a flower that goes there and a sun and then I should be done so that's exciting I, at least there's some hope that I'll finish something this month and then on Saturday Sweet Wings Studio put out a freebie for Easter and I was in the mood for something and so I picked it up and I started stitching on this. I just got the cross. And there's like some little tiny, tiny dots along the top there. This is this is one of those fabrics that I bought from Color and Cotton when they had a mystery pack or whatever. And I don't know what it is. I'll tell you, I had to use magnification. So that makes me think it is 32 or 36 or I don't know. I wish I knew. I can stitch on it, but I did need either the magnifier on my lamp or um, little clip-on things to see the holes better. Dave and I watched the Game of Thrones. I really kind of wish I had a little... This room is so tiny. There's no way to have a love seat. But <laughs> when we're squeezed in here, <laughs> I have like the tiniest recliner that they make out of China. <laughs> so anyway, so Sweet Wing Studio put out that freebie. I think you should be, still be able to find it. And it's a quick, quick stitch. I know that Missy was stitching it. She sent me the, her progress. So that is all I stitched. I didn't even stitch on my main, my word, wordplay Wednesday. I was just been in a funk. Maybe it's like the, the like let down from March mania. I don't know. I had a little bit of haul. I got my project bag from Como Stitches. And I was so excited. And Como Stitches, she's so fun. And she um, she commented on my, my video last week about the how stiff her stuff is. And it's a very, so this is the, the keep. But th this is like thicker than my batting. But definitely nothing like these stiff ones. And I'll never make stiff ones like this again. I feel like Goldilocks. I've tried... <laughs> I've tried really loose. I've tried in the middle. <laughs> so, so I'm still going to keep on the hunt. But I love this bag. I'm so happy that I got it there on time. The goose that says honk on there is what had me saying, okay, I'm going to buy a project bag. This is the first time I've ever bought a project bag from a single person. Because I have the ability to make them myself, right? So, and I'm thrifty, remember? Unless it's something extravagant that I really want and then I'll spend money on it. But but those, that goose, can you even, I loved it so much. And I just think that they're really well made and I'm really happy I got one. And I, 
I pre-ordered the Teresa Colgate Patriotic one. So this is the thread bed. I love thread beds like this. I have a legit cross stitch clutch and it's a great, it's a great product, but, uh, I find like I use the, I gravitate towards these some more. So I really love it. So I got that and I love the, I love the thickness on this. It's not as soft or not as, I don't know, floppy. <laughs> anyway, so I, I, uh, pre-ordered one of her bags. So I feel like I'm really excited about that. I also, today, I got my Coloring Cotton Club. I was not expecting this. I don't know what's going on, but also all the packages that I get in the mail are super dusty. I know I live in the country, but the mail <laughs> seems to be coming with a lot of dust on it. But these, this is the April Thread Club. Super pretty. I like that she always includes like a light. I don't, I don't know. Very nice. Look at that. So exciting. So then that's all my haul. Yeah, that's all my haul. But I got a bag from OG Stitchery today. OG Stitchery. She has a floss tube. She's on Instagram. And she sent me. Okay, so a while back, she commented on my floss tube and said, hey, do you want to swap bags with me? And I was like, absolutely, yes. <laughs> and so um, one of the bags I made this past week is going to her. She makes these really cool little um, zipper pulls. Look at that. It has a gardening spade and a claw. And she just made the cutest bag for me. Hers is a nice weight, too. I wonder what she uses. And then inside... It has the same pattern or the same fabric. And then she's included two. Oh, oh yeah. And uh, two little DMC floss. And then look at the little snap that she has. Where'd she get little floral snaps? What kind of product is that? I just love it. She even has her own little tags. I think she is selling bags, yeah? I'll look and see if I should like it. And then this one has a loop for your scissors or whatever. Love it. Isn't that cute? I thought that was really sweet. So I need to mail hers out. I will do that when I mail out the giveaway. So that's it. Isn't that a bummer? But I have another fun thing that happened. A, a week ago, I feel like it was late last week, and it was only Tuesday, somebody messaged me that watches my floss too and says she had a goose pattern for me, which is kind of a thing now. <laughs> Listen, I don't need them all though. Okay, you guys. <laughs> but a lot of times either I have it or, um, like I probably wouldn't stitch it. So a lot of times when somebody tells me what they have, I'll go look it up and like, I'll check. So she messaged me and said she had this country garden pattern and look at the geese up there. And I love this saying. And she said, it's an older chart, but you can still read it. And it is, it was well loved. But so she said, I was going to, she's going to send me this. And I said, thank you so much for thinking of me. And then she's, I got this big old box. <laughs> and, and I was like, what in the same hell is this? So I opened it up. There were, I think, eight beautiful older magazines that have really nice patterns in it that I like right up my alley. <laughs> and then, um, and then some fully kitted patterns. Look at that. Fully kitted. Beyond generous. Shocking. And totally... <laughs> totally bowled me out. I was in my kitchen like, what? What? And then I messaged her and I was like, this is, this was a little bit more than the goose pattern. <laughs> but, um, so nice and generous beyond. I can't even. This is <laughs> so overwhelmed. I can't, I can't even explain in words. 
And I was just sitting in the in the kitchen stunned, and my son said, geez, mom, you don't even know how to handle yourself when somebody's nice to you. And I was like, yeah, I know. This is why, this is why I probably should go back to therapy. <laughs> But really, truly, I can't even say thank you enough. Thank you so much. You know who you are. And um, I just was completely shocked. And I, thank you. I couldn't believe it. And, like, what are the chances that the things she chose to send me I didn't have? Or, you know what I mean? Like, I, it was beautiful. <laughs> thank you. Uh, okay. Okay. So, now to the bags. I'm going to tell you that I still have a few more. They're, they need to be sewn shut, but they're also, they're kind of a secret. So it's not like I could show you anyway, because they're for a, something that's coming up. But, um, these are the bags that I finished. Are you ready? And I found out a couple of things. Firstly, I just hate turning them. Okay. And I found that once I ironed them, they didn't look like poo. And I think it was just that this ultra firm fleece or fusible fleece or whatever was getting rumpled in the turning process. And I think that's why I thought they looked like crap. So um, after our, my floss tube last week, I was like, I don't know if I really can give these away because I was so sad. But then I, I decided to iron them because I thought maybe it's just that the that the fleece is all like either separated from the fabric when it was rustled around or whatever. And so I ironed them or pressed them and they look so much better. And so I've done that with all the rest. Also, I was bending my fingernails off. I mean, granted, I do have to take vital protein collagen because I am prone to like peeling nails, but, um, but I ended up having to use a crochet hook to, to be able to turn, like get the corners to be anywhere decent. This is a fabric I don't remember the fabric designer name, but like her, this is her whole genre where she takes little mementos, screen, I, there's a whole term for it. You're probably yelling at it right now. I can't remember you guys, but, um, I've been, I've been loving her, her, this style for a long, like her, she always has like one of these prints with all of these little mementos. And then she has like compliment, complimentary fabric that go with the line. And I've been wanting to like get one, get one of them and then make it into a project bag because I think it just looks so sweet. So I made that one for myself. <laughs> These are all for myself, by the way. Because <laughs> I'm not going to show the one I'm sending to OG Stitchery because I want it to be a surprise, Tracy. But um, I will tell you, Stacey, Tracy, I will tell you, Tracy, that it's a stiff one. So you get to try one and see if you like it too. I love these chickens. I saw this at Joanne and I was like, oh, this one. I'm going to put my high rolls in it, which I didn't even touch this week. Oh, another thing. I just I thought of it. Um, I found that because I use Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch. Is that right? Elizabeth Ann Stitches. Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch. I'll link it in the description box below. I use her tutorial and her measurements and her directions. So I cut the interfacing or the liner, um, the interfacing, uh, whatever the, the size is so that it's not in your seams. Although my Juki can really kind of barrel through seams just fine. But, um, so I feel like those first couple that I made seemed floppier because maybe the fusible web had shifted. I don't know. And so I noticed that I, so I started after I attached the zipper, I always do a stay stitch right along my zipper, but then I did a second stay stitch, just like a, mm, a little bit more than a quarter of an inch. So I would catch that fusible web or that fusible fleece. So you can see like the stay stitches down here and then there's one like right along the edge. So I noticed that I had a heck of a lot better result when I did that. So, but I'll, I'll link um, Elizabeth Ann can stitch. This is tutorial below, but, um, this one cannot be any cuter. Although I bought this fabric at Joanne and the girl, I was like, this is so cute. And the girl's like, yeah, except for his eyes. And I was like, what? And then I looked and I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> I 
can't unsee it, can you? Eek. <laughs> um, anyway. And I bought this, uh, because I had missed out on a bag like this from Como Stitches the week or two ago. So I made a knockoff. <laughs> Don't hate me. <laughs> this one is really cool. And I wish I could remember. I kind of feel like it might be the same designer. She makes this cheater print where it's old patchwork. And I just love that the fabrics look faded and stained and just like all my family's quilts, <laughs> to be honest, and well loved. And so they made a cheater cloth with just like postage stamp fabric. And then I had found this little handkerchief at a thrift shop or an antique store. I think I bought it at an antique store when I went to Frankenmuth with David for our anniversary. And I thought they were so cute and it was in really great condition. The pattern, the X's around the edges did go all the way around. I didn't feel too bad just chopping it off. So I just, I just stitched it down. I think I did two or three. I did two to attach it and then just kind of on there. So I really love this bag. This is my favorite. <laughs> uh, I made this one. I'm going to put that he is risen in there cute chicks these are Lori Holt fabrics I know that and I love her cheater fabrics as well I have a couple others and I love this one because I will never sew with diamonds because I know my abilities <laughs> or lack thereof and uh, so I will never get caught sewing <laughs> a pattern like this so Praise be that she made a cheater cloth for this design. So I love that I got brave and I used a yellowy zipper with my back. A lot of times I try to coordinate, like blend them away. But this one, heck yes. <laughs> I've loved this print since it came out. I have to say that I think this print made me want to almost buy all of this fabric, but I, I, I'm a Bunny and Camille girl. And so even if I bought all this fabric, I wouldn't, I would never use it or I'd make it and then I would give it away. So it's great that I can buy a little bit as a project bag and have a little bit, but then it's not. And then finally, I bought this fabric a while ago. It's Fig Tree Co., I believe. And I just love it. It's like little cross stitch. It's like a sampler. And um, I think it's really pretty. Is it? Is it? Is it Fig Tree Co? I wish I could take it back. I don't know. And I use a different, I used a green house fabric in there. But, so anyway, so those are the, those are the bags I sewed. It's significant. It's an, it's significant. But I do have projects on my workbench that I need to go in a bag. So I've been anxious to get them done so I can stuff them in there. So. This is what, this is probably why I only stitched on three things or four things this week. And okay, now that they don't look bad because I've ironed them, I could see why people like stiff bags because they're very nice. And they, and somebody mentioned that they'll stand up in your, in your bag or your bin or basket. Yeah, I know. I just, I'm never making them again, okay? <laughs> and I have this many, so <laughs> should I need any more? I don't think so. But let's go back and talk about the tomato bags. Okay, also, can we just get a little note on how much better it looks now that I ironed it? Were you just yelling at the screen? You should just iron it. <laughs> it's rumpled. Because <laughs> they really were. Um, once I Once I pressed them, I thought that they looked much better. So I did a random drawing for two friends and also there was a lot of great tomato talk in the comment section, whether it was just made up so that you could get a, the word tomato in your comment. I don't care. It was fantastic. I love talking about tomatoes. <laughs> I put my tomatoes out today. Oh, but let's talk about the winner. <laughs> okay. I 
drew two random names through like some website. Is that how we're all get? Is that how everybody was getting spammed by using those websites? That's what I wonder. But um, I it picked two names, and one of them, I have no hope of pronouncing, and I want to apologize right now. I'm sorry. I even like literally searched how to say it, and now I totally forgot. It's only been 25 minutes. But the two winners, are, the two winners are Kayla Gray Stitches. Also, Kayla Gray Stitches, uh, you got a floss tube. I'm gonna go check you out. I don't know. I have never seen your floss tube before, but I'm gonna head right over. And then Mary Ava. <laughs> Listen, it has an X, but I have a feeling a lot of it's not, not pronounced and it's silent. It's Mary of Ox. That's how I would say it, but I got D's in foreign languages. I think it's a va. A box. I'm going to put a word, like I'm going to put text with both of your names at the bottom of this. And let's just, let's just, let's just move past this past it. We all know that sometimes words are hard for me. <sighs> so that's all I have. I'm going to stuff a lot of project bags with stuff that's on the workbench. And I'm going to not forget Wordplay Wednesday. Gosh, I wish I could remember what I was doing last Wednesday that kept me from stitching it. That really hasn't happened in a long time. It's bizarre. And it's more bizarre that I can't even remember. It was less than a week ago. Isn't that, isn't that kind of crazy? Oh, oh, and last week, I don't know if there was a Zoom on the Stitcher stash, but I have to tell you, I really missed it, even though I was stitching with people in real life, and I, but, um, hopefully there's a Stitcher stash, stash Zoom on Thursday, is there? Emma? Or somebody? Carrie? Um, I don't know which week they do a legit one with, like, the admins. Um, so, and there's, I am going, I'm going to a zoom on Saturday. So I feel like I'll get stitchy time because I'll be zooming. So, so hopefully maybe I'll just literally just wait until the last week before the retreat to worry about my Teresa Cole get stitching because I'm, I just, I really work better under pressure. <laughs> Uh, you know, I got my Be Be Thankful project out. It's one of my whip goes. I sat with it in my chair. And I literally just could not get myself to string a thread. <laughs> it wasn't in the mood. So, I don't know. It was very bizarre. Very bizarre. So, I have higher hope for this week. The Prairie Schooler during school, at least, is checking my box for having stitched each day. But... It'd be nice if I could stitch in the evening. Uh, now the bags are done and my workspace will be cleared up because I'm almost done with Homeland. Don't tell me what happens, but she gets by. <laughs> I can't believe it. She might be a spy. I mean, not, not for the U.S. But anyway, <sighs> that's enough TV talk. Is that it? I think so. kind of feels like there's something else I meant to tell you, but I don't know what it is. I'm going to take my wordplay Wednesday to stitching at the library tomorrow. Thursday, hopefully there'll be a Zoom. Friday, I don't have anything. There's a, I go into a Zoom on Saturday. I don't know. I'm hoping I'll, I'll get a new surgence of motivation. Someone commented. I read all of your comments, and a lot of times I don't reply. Someone commented that there's there's something to be said for finishing something, and I totally totally agree. And it I've been thinking about it. It it pops up in my head at random times, like very random times this past like I don't know how many days ago it was left. But there is something to be said for finishing things, and I think that perhaps that's why I'm in a funk right now. I don't know. I just need to find something. It's almost at Prairie School, or I thought about stitching it at night so I could finish it because it'd be nice to have it done 
I love stitching on prairie schoolers. Don't you just wonder what the prairie schooler designer is doing with her days and nights? What is she stitching on? Oh, she just, like, we don't even know, do we? Does anybody know? Just, I mean, it's none of my business. None of your business. Just thought, like, there's no way she can go from such epic, classic stuff to no stitching ever again. Wouldn't that be amazing if she was just like, hey, I needed a long break, but I'm back with all of this stuff. It's just an idea. <laughs> I'm going to send it out in the world. <laughs> anyway, I just love Prairie Schooler. Okay, that's all. I wanted to say thank you for being here. Thank you for checking in. Thank you for being a subscriber or not, or checking in just randomly, or leaving a comment or not or just sometimes a lot of people message me privately that's what i do i have been really bad about replying to emails i'm so sorry i don't know why <laughs> it's an app on my phone but <laughs> i don't know i'm gonna work on that if you've sent me an email at garden at gmail and i haven't replied hold on to hope hold on to hope there's, there's a possibility it's coming. <laughs> I also wonder if it's just glitchy on my on my app. So anyway, because uh, I'll see something for the first time and it'll be really old. And I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, that's all. Thank you. I appreciate you. You humble me beyond words. Thank you to my very generous viewer that sent me all of those random things. That is not expected, obviously. And... I just, I'm still stunned, honestly. I'm still stunned because when I had nine viewers and subscribers on this channel, I was blown over with a feather. <laughs> honestly. And do you want to hear the cutest thing? I was talking to my nephew at Easter and I said, William, do you know how many subscribers I have in my class too now? And he's like, no, how many? And I, and I told him, Why, did you know I had a floss too? I didn't tell him the number because it doesn't matter. But he's like, yeah, I watch it. And I said, you watch my floss tube? He's like, yeah, because there's only some things on my tablet. <laughs> so I said, I'm going to give you a shout out, William. So, hey, William, if you're watching, <laughs> thanks for checking in, buddy. <laughs> I just stitched him something. I asked him what his favorite uh, superhero, like, you know, whatever, whatever uh, character was. And it was somebody I've never heard of. I'm a boy, mom. I don't feel like it's been that long. We've watched all the Marvel. I've been forced to watch a lot of other stuff. I had never heard of this person, so they must not be that super. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. Anyway, so I appreciate all of you, even you, William, checking in with my floss tube. And um, I'll see you either next week or the week after. Depends on how much stitching I have, because there's no way I'll have this much to show <laughs> if I'm not stitching very much. <laughs> so, so I may go back to every other, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, I, I hope that you all have a wonderful week. Take care, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>